All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Miss Chip Chip, where's your friend? Oh, yeah, he's uh, in the kitchen. Tari, you guys know each other? Yeah, yeah. Here's my ex. You didn't tell me that you dated someone like him. What do you mean, someone like him? We both spoke about our exes. And Williams was one of the names I told you. Yeah, but how was I supposed to know that that Williams is my friend? I, I didn't know either. Apparently, you guys are not even close. Otherwise, we would have known before now that you and my ex know each other. We might not be close, but it doesn't change the fact that we're friends. We know each other. And you guys have been intimate. <laughs> How long did you guys date for? Nearly two years. Two years? You guys were sleeping with each other for two years? I thought you were never going to call. I missed you. We need to talk. It's been torture for me these past few days. I've tried to erase the thought from my head. I've tried to stop myself from imagining what went on between you and Williams. Hey. I can't change the past. All I can do, all I can do is, is to apologize about how you feel. And also make you understand that the past is the past. I need time. I need space to be able to get over this. Okay, I need to be able to stop thinking about this. I, I don't think the wedding should. No, don't. Please. Don't say it. Please. He means nothing to me now. Okay? I love you so much and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I guess. This was what you always wanted. Have a nice life. All right, guys. So this movie, The X Factor, the link is at the bottom, by the way. If you've not watched it, please go and watch it. Very interesting movie. It's a lot of lessons to learn from this because this is pure real life situation. Little scope. You know, they, the guy is dating uh, a girl and then somewhere in between their relationship after they're almost you know at the point ready to get married he finds out that her ex was his friend you know and definitely it got to him you know this thing happens a lot it happens a lot where you meet somebody uh, ready to get married or you know you really like somebody and then you find out that you know her ex you know there's a feeling to it when you know the person that they've dated. If it's somebody you didn't know in the past and you just kind of met him in the person, oh, that's my ex, you know, yeah, it's easy. Stay away from him, yali, 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 and then, you know, you guys move on. You know, but when it's your friend, you know, the person will somehow not stop being your friend. So, yeah, it's a psychological thing. I don't even know how to get over things like this. I'm not a psychologist, so... I really don't know what would be the best approach. I know if you really love the person, it's not enough reason to break up because everybody has a past and it wasn't like he's still dating the guy, you know, this the ex is the ex period, you know, she's now with you, you know. So in my own opinion, he is not supposed to uh, stop loving her. Yes, it might affect you. Yes, you might need to, you know, go to therapy. Yes, you might need put on put time but you know even that time is usually not a good thing because it never works out well you know but 
the truth is that he wasn't supposed to let her go. He wasn't supposed to because uh, if this person is a good person, then the ex may have been the shitty partner, you know. And you know men. You know, men could do anything. So it definitely it could have been his fault. Maybe you could even want to hear what happened, if that really matters. But the truth is he shouldn't have left her. Um, it's a situation where you really look at the person that you are with. If they are good, you know, it's good for your future. Because when you marry a good woman, definitely you are setting up your future to be a blaze too, you know. Because uh, women make the home. They are the ones that would determine if the, you know, household is peaceful and lovely. You know, if there are people, if it's a woman that's always causing issues, you know, character-wise, disruptive, spending recklessly, definitely that also affects the, you know, nomenclature of the household after marriage. So I don't think he did the right thing, you know. Uh, now, of course, he started dating somebody else and <laughs> you don't even know who, who's that ex is. Because, you know, you might still find that she dated somebody you know too. So, you know, where would it end? You know, where, where would it end? So I don't think he did the right thing by leaving the girl because obviously uh, she was a good girl. And um, yeah, uh, you have a past. Everybody has a past. And if he's truly your friend, you know, I wouldn't even blame her for not telling you because he kept looking like he's blaming her. Why didn't you tell me? They talked about their ex. He didn't know two of them knew each other. So it's nothing for her to tell him, you know, uh, besides what they already, you know, communicated to each other. So uh, at the end of the day, the lesson here is this, you know, everybody has a past. If the past is not something that damages the future, you know, maybe you had series of abortions and you no longer have a womb uh, or you, you know, did something in the past that hurt your presence, you know, or hurt you, you know, continuous presence. So, you know, even though it's past, it's still haunting you or it's still affecting you. Yeah, then that's where situations where past would, you know, influence future. You know, but if it's just past, past, you dated somebody, period, you guys are done, you know, then there's nothing uh, to you know stop you from moving forward with the person because it's all about who they are you know it's not about their past it's really about who they are presently so if that past is not a continuous present then you know definitely move forward with the person and make your happy home make your happy home yeah if you feel like the friend would always uh, then you know keep the friend at bay you know, this is now your new family so yeah, the friend can't come hanging out anyhow to sleep over. He can't come doing the Yeah, just keep that friend that is not even a that close a friend, like she was saying. Because if they were that close, they would have crossed paths before that time. You know? So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, if you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from Academy Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.